Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I had a brother in Christ make this bench for me. And he put on there, my uncle, I don't know if it was, there it is. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119.11, King James Bible. When I was a little kid, I used to sit on this bench and I'd read all the wrong books. <laughs> and I loved reading. Uh, so my uncle, who's a brother in Christ, redid the wood, repainted and stained the metal. And this is like the heavy duty metal. So what I was going to do with this, my little pond on the deck, is I'm going to be sitting here. He also gave me, when I end up doing a video, uh, I want to do memory scriptures. And I want to sit here and read from my grandfather's King James Bible. And I want to do memory verses. So I wanted to just show you that. That, that was a good gift from a brother in Christ. And I'll get a first Bible uh, memory verse. I'll get the first one out eventually. So, wanted to do a little bit of a walk and talk. Kind of want to do a little bit of a walk and talk, but I don't know if I can uh, get this angle right. Okay. But, uh, wanted to, before we do our walking down the road and talking, my computer went kaput. Well, it could, it barely worked. And um, it just got to the point where I just couldn't use it anymore. So um, I had a brother in Christ help me and I had to save up to get a new computer. So as you can see, I was putting out these videos, uh, me putting out the video. I say we because I was looking over at Victoria. She's following me. Let's see if I can get this right. All right, uh, Victoria, let's go. But she's kind of, slowly going taking her time chickens are doing good um we've had a lot of rain i've had a lot of power outages the computer kept freezing up on me every other time i tried to turn it on and i lost videos when i tried to do studies and it was just on its last leg so i had to save up to get me a computer and i wanted to get a computer that would be a lot easier with uh, what is it? Uh, video editing and everything. But I'm going to switch this around here in just a second. But one of the things I had to deal with is I had a huge tree that fell over the garden and it went all the way out and it would have kept falling if it didn't get caught on that one tree right there. So, um, Trying to take care of that. Like I said, we had a lot of windy, windy weather. That I had to put back there. The whole top part was off and thrown everywhere. The whole swing set was thrown everywhere. I see the wind kind of got this again. This is a little pad I leave out here while I'm working. and You can use it for a knee pad. Or Victoria will sit on it. But <laughs> that's right talking about you um but yeah that was one of the biggest things i've been dealing with is just storms this winter this last two months i've had to reset the clock so many times but let's see if i can look at it again that tree is so it looks so small now like it's not that big and everything but we've i've had to saw it had a guy come out here that could climb and knew what he was doing to help me out and there's the rooster but the biggest reason if we can get this turned around. But the biggest reason is just that my computer wasn't doing so well. And we've had a lot of storms. The power's been going out. Victoria? Now she won't leave. Let's go. I'm leaving. Come on. It's taking her time. So everyone's back here. I've been having to watch for predators getting some of the neighbor's chickens, so I have to keep an eye on my chickens. And you can't turn your back on my rooster, my new rooster. Because <laughs> he will start charging me. He's one of those guys that wait for you to turn around before he goes after your leg. But, uh... He went after me. Which is good, to a point. 
I'm teaching him not to go after me, but I want him to be feisty to protect these chickens. I've lost chickens already. But brothers and sisters in Christ, it's just, it's been a long two months, two to three months. And it just seems like I'm in Oregon and Oregon's been cracking down hardcore on a lot of things. I can't tell if that's getting me or not because of the glare. But um, a lot of the joys I once had, I kind of started losing some of my joys uh, with having to wear face mask. I can't really go in anywhere. And there was one place that I could still go into to get uh, chicken feed and get stuff for the garden. Um, but for the most part, so, uh, and with it raining, I've always told the brethren in other videos and testimony videos that my hardest time is during the winter when it's raining where you can't go outside. You know, I like to be outside. I like to work outside. I like to go for hikes, walks, fishing, uh, walking on the beaches and stuff like that. But when it's raining, especially with the power going out and then having no heat in the house, <laughs> I had to light candles to keep things warm got very cold that one of my nice plants that I liked it wasn't a winter plant and it died on me so I'm having to work harder to try to keep it warmer in the house so um, but I just if anybody's been praying for me I thank you for your prayers I've been praying for you guys um, it's just been tough you know I, one of my joys I used to love doing is Victoria went down the wrong path is I like to go to Gold Beach to the used bookstore and look at some of the old books, um, find old Bibles. And then there was, uh, you know, a pizza place that I could go get pizza. It was like a hunting lodge. And then I could go walk on the beach a little bit. Well, I haven't been able to go to the used bookstore in, in a long time. And, and uh, the pizza place, I tried walking in there once Got ended up getting the pizza to go, but it went from being like a hunting lodge to they started playing like heavy metal slash rock and roll music. And it was just, and then now you got to have a mask to eat at the restaurants. You have to wear a mask when you walk in and sit down. Then you can take it off and then you can breathe on everybody. And then as you're eating, and then when you get up to use the restroom, you have to put the mask back on. See that, that makes all the difference. <laughs> You know, this whole mass thing is just about control and slavery, showing that the American people, that the, our government owns the American people and tells them what to do. And like goats, they're not sheep, they're goats, like good goats, they do what they're told. So I want to try to get some more videos out. Victoria, part of a walk and talk, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to get some videos out. Uh, my biggest concern for myself and the body of Christ is once again, I'm, I got a study coming out. It was going to be the three reasons, three or four reasons why people reject Jesus Christ. But when you look into it, it's three to four reasons why people reject Jesus Christ. It's reasons that, uh, that hurt a Christian's walk with the Lord. And it's three, three to four reasons that um, affect a, person, a man in ministry, that hurts the ministry. His ability to be used in ministry. So, we got a sunny day today. It got really sunny, but uh, it's still kind of cold. <laughs> um, I, was, I was watching that. I was like, oh, I do really get that study out too. I've had a lot of studies and Bible studies that I've been doing, but right now I'm just trying to get used to the new software. The thing about getting a new computer is it's running a lot smoother than the old, because my old computer was Stone Age. It's running a lot smoother, but when I went to try to put the program on there for editing videos, it's like, here's the updated version, and it's got like 50 million more wells, uh, what do they call it, whistles and bells and, and uh, a switch uh, buttons and stuff that you click on, and it's like, oh, i got to learn something all over again. I like the old version better. So I'm trying to get used to that. So, um, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry I've been gone for a little bit, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's just, I just, with everything that's going on, and my donations to some of the brethren, living and verbally preaching the word is good. I didn't need a computer that bad. And I just wanted the brethren to focus on their families and their walks with the Lord. Uh, not half, I mean, we're, for those of us that are still trying to stand firm to the Lord and 
We're not wearing masks and we're trying to do right in these last days and it's tough financially for a lot of the brethren. Um, if you're in one of those states that's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, but some of the brethren are in states where, see that doesn't make sense. One state makes it out like it's a, it's the end of the world and then one state's like it's not a big deal and nobody seems to catch on that if it's a worldwide pandemic every state would have to act the same and they don't. It's a, it's a, it's a joke. So some of you brother and sister Christ out there have a harder time than, than others. Um, being in states where they're really trying to crack down, you have to wear the mask you, or you're fired, you know. The next thing you know, they're going to have the shots that you get. And my brain freezes sometimes, but they try to call them, I forgot what they try to call them, but uh, vaccines. They try to call them vaccines, but they're not vaccines. They're experimental drugs. It, they're experimenting on people. And they're using people as guinea pigs. And it's just sad. But some states, some jobs might require that. And brethren will start losing their jobs more. And I just wanted you guys to focus financially on you guys. So, Because I know someone's going to ask, well, why didn't you ask for donations or something? It's like, I could wait a few months and save up the money. And that's what I did. Wait a few months, sucked it up, and um, I ended up pulling some money from my... Uh, been trying to save up money for a retaining wall and that's not that doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen because that's pretty expensive to get a retaining wall that uh, i'm going to definitely need here in the next five ten years um this summer i'm going to try to see if i can find an old used wood stove and switch from a pellet stove to a wood stove so if they don't have power because we keep going out without power and i keep talking about doing a wood stove but i think i really am going to suck it up and do a wood stove um, this summer so that way this fo this following winter if we're still here when the power goes out left and right if it does it's just if we have a very rainy and windy winter we want the rain help us get through the summer so we don't have a drought but um that also means we have the ground gets softer trees are falling down uh, we lose power a lot all it takes is a limb on a line and next thing you know we're out of power uh, the internet's not working hardly, off and on, keeps sh shutting off on you. So, so the water's good, praise the Lord. But it's just one of those things that if I had a wood stove, I could heat the house, I could still cook some of my meals, and not worry about power outages and everything. So there's the beautiful sun. When you're in the sun, it's warm. You get in the shade, it gets cold here. So... Brothers and sisters Christ, I just, I'm praying for you. Please stand, stand, stand. Stand for the word of God. Uh, make sure that you're doing good fellowship. Not, uh, what is it that I see sometimes among the brethren? There's uh, division, but mainly it just seems like drama. There's just, every once in a while it seems like I'm seeing some drama among the body of Christ. And uh, just uh, remember that um, we need to stick with the Lord. We need to stick with his word. So part of getting started back up again with this new computer is I'm going to try to go back to the basics. We're going to go back to memory verses. Uh, I'm going to still try to continue on with some of the studies that I was trying to do before my computer went bad, my old computer. And, and we're going to just get back to some of the basics, you know, living our lives for Jesus Christ. So I want to say grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.